What's up, y'all? It's Cam Ray, back with another YouTube video. Okay. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Cam Ray, <laughs> on Cam Ray Music TV. Anyway, so we are here to do a review for Drake's Scorpion double disc album. The first thing I'm going to say is I really appreciate Drake for releasing a whole project, a complete project with enough tracks to listen to, digest, determine what the album is about. Content. That's what we want. That's what we need. Content. As opposed to these other albums, six track, eight track. We don't, we don't, we need a complete body of work. So can we just give Drake a round of applause? The album was released on Friday, June 29th, double disc album. We was getting little teasers here and there that it was gonna be two discs, 25 songs, an hour and a half full of music. He let us know, you know, yes I do, in fact, have a son. Only met the baby mama twice. Um, he's, he feels like a single dad. You know, it was a lot of messages in this album. He gave us some a few bangers. You know, we have the singles, God's Plan, and Nice For What. Had some features on the album, some collaborations. We had Ty Dolla Sign on there, Future on there. Some expert excerpts or clips of Nicki Minaj on there. Um, we had a sample from Mariah. It was a couple other samples on there. I think City Girls were on there too. Um, so we had a few, some nice little features on there. I really want to know what you guys thought about the album down below. So let's get started on a quick little review because it is 25 songs long. We're not going to break them all down. All right, so if you guys do not know, Drake and I share the same birthday, October 24th. He's a couple years older than me and that is just fine. So this album being called Scorpion really hit home for me because I am a Scorpio. This is for the Scorpios, you know, and I couldn't really tell if he was saying his son was born um, as a Scorpio also in November or if March 14th he was born or if he found out about him March 14th because the last track of the album is March 14th and it's like a whole old a whole story about how he found out about his son what he hoped to learn about his son what he hoped for his son when he finally had one but anyway I'm jumping around so Drake Okay, Aubrey Graham. We all we all know that he started from Degrassi. You know, he's had this journey with Young Money with under Lil Wayne. And you know, we've always liked Drake because he's relatable. He says all the things that we're thinking. You know, Drake is is used as a noun now, as a verb. You Drake in, then you in your feelings, you expressing yourself. Another great thing about Drake is that he's very commercialized. You know, a lot of his songs they appeal to all different kinds of crowds, hotline bling to best I ever had that he can go from the freestyle, the hardcore rap, to being more commercial. Come on. Mm -hmm. You're good. I can cut you out. This whole battle between Pusha T and Drake, he Pusha T did step on some toes. You know, I didn't even waste my time listening to it, okay? Because number one, I'm not a Pusha T fan. Number two, I don't really enjoy Drake for the rap battles. Now, granted, back to back was a good one between him and Meek Mill, but you know, I don't really... I'm not really like a rap enthusiast. I'm not really one to be like up oh, one point for flow, two points for metaphors, three points for the tone of the voice. You know, I'm not really that type of person. So anyway, you know, we know Drake's story. We know how he got here. So Pusha T spilled his tea. They was calling him Pusha T, Sips T, because he told us about this son that we got wind about last year, but it was never confirmed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say on record that I appreciate Drake. For for not sharing his son with the world. Some stuff ought to be his business. And you know, a lot of people think in the social media world that you post everything and you know, you gotta share everything. You know, I'm one of those people that if you're gonna be on my social media, I'm gonna share some things with you. It's not just gonna be dead space. You know, that's what my social media is for. That's what the brand is for. That's what I'm passionate about. Being social through the media, okay? But. I also feel like everything ain't for us. Now, Drake is the artist, the, the rapper, the, the actor, okay? All I'm interested in is the content, the music that he's releasing that I can dance to, that I can feel to, that I can laugh to, you know, all of that. That's what I'm interested in. I'm not interested in no sons because if I was interested in Drake and about his life, I would be chastising him for his love for these strippers. Now, we saw who his baby mama was. He said in March 14th that he only met her twice. He only met her twice, and I don't know why everybody is so shocked 
because we know that Aubrey loves a stripper. We know that, okay? And then your mama tell you all it takes is one time. All it takes is one time. So, you know, we really shouldn't be shocked about Drake doing stuff that the guy next door does. You know, we, we really shouldn't be shocked. Drake's not that old, you know, like, yeah, he's in his 30s, he's single, he's rich, you know, he's doing what he wanna do and he's on top of the world. So let's not be shocked that he's out here. Let's not be shocked, okay? There were a few tracks that I did enjoy, but at the same time, a lot of them sounded like that, that Drakey, you know, in your feelings, driving down a lonely highway, dark and it's raining type of stuff. I liked Emotionless with the Mariah sample. You got me feeling emotional. Oh, I liked that. There was one part where they cut the run and I was like, ooh, that, was a, that wasn't a flattering part to cut it off on. I enjoyed nonstop and maybe want to shake. Shake, 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 shake. Nice for what? I'm always like, nice for what? Because it's like an ode to the women. You know, the video really helped him out with that song. Mob ties. It's too late for all that lovey dovey stuff. You my brother stuff. I can't take a joke. It also make you want to move. I wasn't feeling Sandra's rose. Sandra, Sandra. I know it's probably a message to someone. I think his mother. I, I don't know. I, I was listening to it one day and then today I, I wasn't really listening to it. Talk up. That's another one of them Drakey. Drakey type song. Is there more? It was heavy with verbiage. I liked what he was saying. I didn't really like the song. You know, Drake is good for some one-liners and some captions under the IG post. He is good for that. Peak, you know, Peak is the start of the second half of the album. Drake is back to my singing Drake. Just reminds me of that guy walking down the sidewalk just singing to himself. Summer Games is more pop sounding and I appreciate him adding it to this album because it's a little more diverse of a track. It don't really fit to me, you know, the other day when I was, when I just skimmed through it, because you know, it's really only been out for about two or three days, but on my way to work on Friday, I was kind of feeling like, you know, God's plan and nice for what wasn't fitting in the track list. Now I'm feeling a little different. I kind of like how he put it in there, you know, God's plan. It was him having his son. And you know, even though a lot of us Scorpios are, seem to be emotionless, we are actually uh, uh, like emotion full. We are fully emotional, okay? We we are in check with the emotions and when we're not in check with the emotions, you might wanna get out the way. Ratchet birthday. It's your I had to turn it off. I was like, okay, Drake, I don't know what it's for. I don't know if you're trying to incorporate this Cardi B sound. You know how she be like, oh, you know, he's trying to have his own sound. I don't know what he's trying to do, but I'm not feeling it you could have kept that that's how you feel that's when it had the little clips of Nicki Minaj it was okay blue tint that's the one featuring future it was okay in my feelings that was another one that made me want to get up and move it oh you like this you like this one yes and it seemed like an ode to the strippers or the IG models, didn't it? He was shouting people out, Brisha, Kiki, do you love me? After Dark, I couldn't figure out the sample, but I know Ty Dolla Sign was on it. Seems like one of those tracks that should be a single right in time for fall. I like that song, and Ty Dolla Sign is good for creating a hit. It kind of gave me a Chris Brown feel, too. And then March 14th was about his son, and that's how he closed up the album. Just kind of a letter to his son. On the Thank Me Later album, we, have, we learned about Drake single mom that his mom had to be and then you know how his dad is pretty much new in his life we've kind of learned that about Drake over time so you know just to hear him express that he didn't want that for his son he didn't want his son to have to have a single mother or his daughter he didn't want that for his child period because he knew how hard it was growing up that way but one thing I want Drake to remember is you know we make our mistakes that's what life is about picking yourself up you know being resilient and you know, because you have money, your son is not gonna have the life that you had. Me and your mama, we only met twice. You know, hopefully we can work things out. Uh, this whole co-parenting thing, I wasn't trying to do it. I wasn't trying to be a single dad. I was trying to have a wife. But you know, Drake, you can't be in the strip clubs looking for a wife. You know, you say all these things in your, in your music. That's like food for thought. Like we really be marinating on this stuff. You know, do right and kill everything, Drake. A lot of people are saying, you know, they just so shocked about who his baby mama is. And, you know, it's just the way that life works out. It's not always about the destination. A lot of times it's about the journey. Let me just say that I appreciate Drake for his journey. Because I'm a fan, I'm gonna always want him to come back and be harder and be better. But a lot of times, 
You know, it's just not about that to me. I really enjoy this album. You probably like Drake just because he's practical. The things that he says, we feel it, we know it. Comment down below on what you thought about Scorpion. What was your favorite track? How do you feel about him not responding to the battle rap? You know, what do you think is the way ahead from here? How do you feel about him hiding his son? I mean, do you agree with me that everything is not for everybody? Or do you feel like, you know, you a deadbeat dad because you ain't tell everybody about your son? Make sure you guys comment down below your thoughts on this album. If you like the album reviews, also let me know. Share the video. I'm Camera Ray, and you're watching Camera music TV subscribe down below I guess we'll see you guys in the next review